Well, here we are. We're about 15-20 minutes in here at least. You can see there we have a really nice synthetic gas flame burning. Still out of that hose. Uh, there's been no decrease in the amount of gas produced. The only decrease that you see is when the stove loses a little bit of temperature. So feed it more wood and you'll watch that gas uh, increase in height quite a bit. So I thought I'd just show you that. You also see there in the background just how much more uh, oil we've captured inside that third collector. It's getting pretty full there. Uh, for one run of wood so far, that's not so bad. It's a lot more than I thought I'd get in the third collector. You can really see the quality of that flame being produced like that uh, out of the end of that hose. Synthetic gas is very usable. Obviously there is a lot of energy being produced and that's been more than 20 minutes or so of about that steady of a stream. So obviously you could run when you're heating your house, you could easily use the system to run a generator. Uh, it's way more gas than you would need to just power your propane powered refrigeration system. You'd, you could power a couple refrigerators off of that much gas there. Uh, so let me go ahead and turn the camera back off and I'll turn it back on towards the end here of our production run and show you what it looks like. Just wanted to give you a quick shot of what it looks like around that barrel in there. Uh, you can't see it from the other side. This is the exhaust side of that. Uh, I've got blocks up the sides kind of there and just an exhaust out the top, but you can see how equal that fire is rolling around that barrel creating nice heat and pressure inside of that. And that's why the system works as well as it does. Alright, so it's been about 35 minutes now. Uh, the sin gas looks like it's slowing down a little bit, but I also uh, lost some temperature on the wood stove, so it could be that. Obviously the gas is still very volatile, uh, holding lots and lots of energy still. One neat thing about this that I wanted to show you, which is a good sign, let me put that out, is this. If I take this hose, and I drip, if there was any moisture being built at all, inside of this hose right now, that means my system's failing. So if I lift this hose up from this end, towards that end over there where the smoke's coming out, let's slowly do this. Let's see if there's any moisture in the hose whatsoever here. Oop. I see zero moisture dripping out of the end of that hose. No wet spots down there whatsoever. That's a great sign. That means we're condensing out all the possible moisture we can out of this. It's a very clean synthetic uh, gas produced right there. Something that can be used in an engine without uh, destroying the engine. Let's see how nicely that lights. So there you go. A uh, very nice fuel source. Like I said, this has been about 35 minutes. Uh, let me go ahead and set that back up the way it was. Just to make sure, we'll test it at the very end one more time to see if there was any uh, moisture content built up in the pipe. So far there's been none. Uh, so there we go. Let's go ahead and light that one more time. And there you go. That's a great clean burning gas. Uh, it takes no time to light. Tomorrow I'm going to hook that up uh, to two different things. First to a generator and then to a propane powered refrigeration system. Uh, once again in the background, you notice our oil production there. I'm not sure how much more we can produce here. Uh, it looks like there's still a little bit of action happening in there. So let me go back around to that jar here. We'll see if there's any dripping still happening in there. Take me just a second here. Let's see if we can catch any kind of uh, action taking place inside the jar here. Oh, yep, there was a drip action there. I just saw the tension on top move there slightly. Try to hold still, see if you can see it. Not a lot, obviously. So maybe what's happening here is the water. Uh, no, the jug still feels pretty cool. That still feels pretty cool. The water inside our condensation, our condens... Alright, so we finally achieved the end of this run. Uh, right now you can tell there's almost zero smoke coming out of the end of that hose. Which we can actually still light, in fact. Um, I can show you that that's actually lit with another piece of paper. There is still actually a flammable gas coming out, but it's so very little. I don't even know if there's a flame there anymore. Uh, let's see. Nope. Alright, maybe it went out. The wind is blowing. 
So that's a pretty good sign that we're basically done on synthetic gas production. So there we go. Now we'll go over here and take a quick look at what we were able to produce in the third container. And then I'm going to open up the other jugs and we're going to do a full uh, showing of just how much was produced within the system. So here you go, that's a pretty good indicator of just how much we got in the final and third condensing system here. Put my finger up to that so you can kind of get a visual of just how much. Not a lot, but uh, quite a bit for the very third end of it all. For a small amount of wood, it's a lot more than I was expecting in the end. Uh, one nice thing is, is we got very, very little uh, in the bottom of the fourth condensing jug, just a little bit there. That's a great safety measure to make sure the gas going into any generator or any other unit is very, very clean. It's a great sign that not much made it in there. Uh, so let's go on here and just look. We've got quite a great accrued appear, apparent here up on the top. Let me go ahead and put my finger in that. As you can see, this is a really nice black crude. I got some shadowing here, weird time of the day. Uh, so that's really nice. I got a little bit of a pressure seal right there. Uh, that blue, so I'm going to have to fix that so I don't get this up on top up here. Let me wipe that off there. It's uh, got a really nice oily color to it. Nice consistency. And that's about as watery as that one's going to be in the second container here. Our first container is going to be a very thick, very heavy black crude oil. You can see some of the water up on top. And I pull that off of there. And it's got a nice crude oil uh, float on top of it which I'll have to pull off of there. That was from when I was first experimenting with the uh, cap here. So there you go. There's our first production so far. Uh, let me go ahead and take this all apart and I'm going to show you each grade of oil and how much we got. 